Hey, I'm Theo and thank you for joining me. Today I get to review four priest cards that absolutely nobody has seen before from the new expansion, The Great Dark Beyond. So let's jump right in with the first card, the Orbital Halo, a two mana holy spell that says give a minion plus two, plus one and divine shield. Cost zero if you played an adjacent card this turn. This is going to be an excellent tool with the returning mechanic of Spellburst, as usually with Spellburst, uh, you can't really uh, play those cards on curve, but with this card potentially being zero mana, you can play it earlier than expected. Besides that, Orbital Halo is going to be excellent in just any uh, tempo deck, or either you can uh, use it to value trade into the opponent's minions, or just use it as a tool to uh, protect your board from removal. Now let's go to the next card, which is Lightspeed, another two mana holy spell, and this one says, give a minion plus one, plus two, and rush, repeatable this turn. And this can be used to either buff one minion a couple of times or multiple minions once and can be very useful if you want to trade with multiple minions in the same turn. What this card can also do is proc the uh, adjacent mechanic in your hand multiple times, for example with the previous card uh, Orbital Halo or with another new card the uh, the Red Giant. So yeah, if these are next to each other you can uh, discount the Red Giant multiple times and then play the Red Giant and give it rush as well. Now if you're a wild player and you're worried about its interaction with Radiant Elemental I asked Blizzard about it, and you don't have to worry. Now, let's go to the third card, which is Anchorite, a 3 mana 2 for Draenei, that says whenever another minion is overhealed, give it that much extra health. So, this is obviously a card you want to play in a deck with a lot of healing, such as Overheal Priest, and is especially a great synergy with uh, cards that heal multiple minions, such as uh, Funnel Cake, uh, Fang Club, and Dream Boat. And if you play multiple of these cards in the same turn and buff a bunch of minions, yeah, you're gonna have a very strong board that is going to be very hard to deal with for your opponent. Now keep in mind, this card says another, so you can't uh, just play it and then uh, keep buffing this card. But if you play two of them, then obviously you, they can buff each other and uh, you get can get some pretty insane boards. And the last card I have is the most unique one as well, which is the Mystified Tocha, a 4 mana 4-2. But I'll probably, if the combined health of both heroes is exactly 42, set your hero's health to a 42. So, as you can see, yeah, pretty unique card. I think it's the first time a card has 42 in the text. And uh, this can also be potentially the best standalone heal card. Now, you're probably going to use this as some sort of control priest deck, since in those decks, yeah, generally, you're not really uh, dealing damage to the opponent. So you get the maximum amount of heal of uh, 30. If your opponent is still at 30, you need to be at 12, and then you play it, and you go up to 42. So pretty similar to Amara, but unlike Amara, this uh, this card is not very good to copy, because you have to be exactly at 42, and that's not always as easy. And because it has to be exactly 42, it also allows for some counterplay from the opponent. For example, if they're at uh, full health, they could put you down to 11, and it's very hard to heal just one point of health. And then uh, they make this card kind of usable. Or maybe if they have a 5 attack minion on board and you're at 15 health, you know, they can decide uh, not to attack. So I expect both players to uh, try and play around this card. Now, that is it for this review. Thank you very much to Blizzard for allowing me to do this. The Great Dark Beyond launches on November the 5th. If you're interested in more of my videos, you can click right here for them. Thank you for watching and until next time.